Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gennady Stolyarov II, Chairman of the United States Transhumanist Party. Now that I have outlined the key objective of the great transhumanist game, which is to fundamentally transform human society so as to reach the next great era of our civilization, the next logical question that arises is, how do we get from here to there? And this is where it is pivotal to ask ourselves, in every action we take, which game are we playing, and whose game? Because the game that the established political system wants us to play is not the game that we should be playing. That is to say, we are often told, if we want to achieve constructive change, however we may define it, we need to join the system. We need to join one of the established political parties, perhaps rise through their ranks, perhaps run for office, play the same political games that are played in Washington, D.C., or in state capitals, try to outmaneuver our rivals for some range of the moment advantage. Of course, what happens when we, who seek to fundamentally improve humankind and transform the world, start playing the game of the established powers by their rules. We will always lose. The established powers know how to play their game. They have millions, if not billions, of dollars devoted to it. They have extremely experienced lobbyists and strategists and media connections and an entire network of savvy individuals devoted to playing their game. If we play their game, we stand absolutely no chance. There's another game that some people want visionaries, those who seek radical transformations of society to play, and that is the game of insurrection and revolutionary violence. That is an even worse game than the game that would play within the rules of the system. That is a game that fundamentally reverses the progress of humankind, destroys the infrastructure of our great, though suboptimal, civilization, and, most tragically, deprives many good people of their lives and their health. We must never play that game. The game of violence, the game of riots, the game of destruction is not the transhumanist game. The transhumanist game is an eminently peaceful game. It is a game that seeks to build, not to destroy. In an age of vitriol, of downward spiraling, a political discourse of eroding standards, of volatile situations that threaten to explode if one fanatic or one insane person decides to go off the rails, we need to be the ones who restore standards. We need to be the ones who chart a path forward into the future and do so by our example, not by co-opting a major political party because we can't not by staging some massive and potentially explosive protest against a perceived injustice, because that would only aggravate the injustice, but by building, by inventing, by persuading people, by having discussions, civilized discussions, where everyone maintains the standard of discourse, by connecting with scientists, technologists, artists, philosophers, and seeking to implement the vision of the great 18th century Enlightenment thinkers who believed that through the use of reason, the faculties of the mind, which every one of us has, even though not all of us may be utilizing those faculties optimally, we can dramatically improve the human condition. Just as the agricultural revolution dramatically improved the human condition relative to the Paleolithic era, just as the industrial revolution dramatically 
improved the human condition relative to the medieval era, just as the information revolution dramatically improved the human condition relative to the mid-20th century. It is only through creation and the maintenance of what has been created that we, as a civilization, can advance to the next era. Neither playing the current establishment's political games nor attempting to blow up the current system will work. However, the hope that I extend to all of you is that each of you as an individual can become an agent for positive change. Simply in your day-to-day -day lives, build, discuss, connect with those who hold similarly high standards. And together, we can reach the next era. We can repair the damage. We can reverse the vicious downward spiral that has engulfed political discourse in the Western world. But we must do it ourselves. The system will not do it for us, and the insurrectionaries will not do it for us either. Let us restore a solid core of decent, civilized people who will engage one another irrespective of our differences on individual issues, as long as we hold the common goal that life can be better and that we, ladies and gentlemen, can make it better together. Thank you very much.